uh, you should be careful not to kill the goose that lays the golden eggs, right? And governments have, of course, been prone to want to tax a sector which is making a lot of money. But a lot of the research that, we, that IDRC supported helped to demonstrate that if they tax the sector too much, they're actually going to hinder the benefits that uh, actually accrue to poor people. There have been direct policy influence, which is uh, a fairly rare occurrence for research funding agencies. It's really difficult to get from building an evidence base to having policymakers actually pay attention to that evidence base. Fortunately, the, the telecommunications or ICT sector seems to be fairly open to um, using data and evidence for, for policy decisions. So it's, we are fortunate that our partners could, could build on that. I remember in one of our studies, we, it was evident that the cost of use of the service was very high. That was the time the government was also introducing communication tax system to the country. So here was the case, the government was pushing the, 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 the policy through and research findings showing that cost of service was high. And therefore, what happened was that it helped the government to rethink of the policy and reduce the, the, policy, the tax threshold, so which became acceptable to all, or, I mean, all, all operators. Our initial intention was not to do household surveys, but we realized that if we don't generate the data, they will just not be accessible. And uh, we find many claims being made, uh, made in the public discussions which are just not true. And having the household survey data can then prove this, uh, this, uh, this uh, aspect. One example is that in 2006, RIA presented to the Namibian cabinet on a comparative study between South Africa, Botswana and Namibia. And the discussion was about should the market be opened or not? Should the second mobile operator be allowed to operate? And the argument was from the people that said we shouldn't, is that Namibia was a big country, but a small market, small population, and it could not maintain two mobile operators. But then us having the data from Botswana and from Namibia, we could show that Botswana, despite being a, a, a smaller population and having two operators, had a much higher penetration, in particular among the, the poor communities, and also much, much lower prices. And therefore, the decision was then to open up the market in 2006. And since then, prices have come down by 90%. I think there's general consensus that even though there are still huge bottlenecks with regard to access, um, we're starting to have a good handle on what exactly it takes in terms of a policy and regulatory environment to spur access amongst the, the, the poor uh, in these countries. So there are a new set of questions that are basically beyond access that relate to the extent to which ICT access actually leads to new productive uses. Are there ways in which, especially youth and, and women who have been traditionally marginalized from, from some of these factors, can use the technology for new productive purposes that uh, might not have existed uh, before? We know something about that, but we still need to interrogate that more. Second is, it seems clear that in many regions the mobile internet or the internet is being accessed through mobile phones and that a lot of communities where, who have never had access to the internet will now have access to the internet within uh, three to five years probably. And yet we don't really understand what that's going to do. Uh, there's huge opportunities in terms of, again, uh, new productive ways of using it, political empowerment. I mean, uh, all you have to do is look at the Arab Spring, but also some, some potential threats, uh, especially around new powers that the state could have around censorship and, and um, privacy uh, issues. So it's pot potentially this technology could play a role in actually hindering or curtailing people's uh, human rights. So that leads us to a whole new set of questions that, that we need to look at.